Hey, welcome back everybody. So uh, this is the final video in the three-part series where we're finally going to connect this uh, ESP32C6 um, from Seed Studios um, microcontroller to a, uh, a mesh-tastic node. So this is also a, a Seed Studio. Um, it is a SX1262 uh, a, a node, a mestastic node. So um, in the first video, we uh, um, connected a LED to a, a microcontroller. We connected it to, to D2, pin 2 there, and ground. And we could uh, turn the LED on and off, flash it. In the second video, we updated the program or the uh, Circuit Python application so that uh, we could uh, um, have an API server on this uh, ESP32C6 where we could hit the, uh, uh, um, the, the endpoint and turn the LED on and off. We then changed the, the, the application on, uh, on the Circuit Python application on this ESP32C6 to um, a, a flash a status when um, this chip connects to the Wi-Fi and the server can start up, it will flash three times fast, uh, three times slowly. Um, but if it cannot, it's going to give us a five times quick flash, saying there there's a problem. It cannot connect. So we're using it at the moment as a status. Now, once we connect these two together, the ESP32. C6 microcontroller, connect that to the MeshTastic node, will be able to send messages over MeshTastic. Um, and we'll do so by connecting the TXRX uh, um, pins, and um, on this controller is D7 and D8, and we're going to connect uh, that, I think it's D7 and D8, no, it's actually D6 and D7. Sorry, the bottom two. I'll put some diagrams on there. <clears throat> We're going to connect that to the MeshTastic node, which uses the same pins. But remember, TX go to RX, RX go to TX. Um, the, the cable has to swap. And we'll also connect uh, um, 5 volt and ground to uh, power this uh, microcontroller from the MeshTastic uh, uh, node. So that ultimately, the, the goal of this video is then um, we could talk to the API server, <coughs> the API server on here, on the ESP32C6, and then um, that would talk to the MeshTastic node and send us a message via MeshTastic. So uh, let me do the first part, the soldering part, my not so favorite part, but let's get that let. Let's get that going and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, there I have it all connected now. I have um, the um, node, the uh, MeshTastic node, seed node, connected to the um, um, ESP32 controller via serial RXTX and I have a power uh, a connection as well. So I could actually power any one of the two and it would power the other one. So um, that's the, the power bus it's connected to. So and I'll put the schematic on the screen now to show all these wires because there's a lot of wires. Okay now let's run this. We're connecting to Wi-Fi. Let's watch the LED. It says it's connected. It flashes three times slowly. So we know we're connected. We can see on the output it's on uh, um, 192.168.87.27. Um, so let's look at that from the, the phone perspective. So we're going to go to 192.187.27. Right, that's it. And we're going to try LED on. We can see the LED turns on. Right, the LED turned on. Let's try um, um, let's try that same thing. Um, 
192.168 and we try um, uh, LED off. Let's uh, edit that. LED is on. Let's uh, edit that URL and let's change that to off. We hit uh, off and we can see that the LED turns off. And now for the Mashtastic part, um, I added another um, I added another um, uh, piece of code and this is called um, so another endpoint and that is slash send message so send message is going to look for message equals and then it's going to send a message using RS232 or serial to the Mestastic node. So, uh, uh, um, so when it receives that, that call, so um, we're going to edit this and we're going to say slash send message, send message, message equals hello world. And it says message sent. And you can actually see there is uh, my Meshtastic node just received hello world from this controller. So that sort of puts it all together. I can now um, control the LED. I can see the status of the LED and I can hit the send message endpoint with a specific message. So um, if I go back in here and I edit this URL and let's just say I want to uh, change the message to um, how is everyone and I hit send we can see that it hits the 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 uh, API server send message that then talks serial to the Mestastic node and the Mestastic node sends that message out and we can actually see that message right over we can see that message um, right over here how is everyone so um, how that's configured inside of Mestastic and again I'm trying to get this to to focus a little. Um, so if I um, look at um, my radio configuration, so for this specific node, I had set up a serial. So in serial, I enabled serial and I put the pins on this specific um, uh, um, a seed. It's pin 44 for RX and 43 for TX and I just put the board rate at 9600. You'll see in the little program I also matched that board rate at 9600 so the two boards are uh, 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 compatible and I also set the mode so what that means to the Mestastic node is whatever is received via serial send it out to the default channel. Um, I just thought I'd put it all together and I'll put a little graphic on the screen now of everything that I did here to show uh, um, how this all fits together but what it means is I now have a, a, a package that's you know about the size of my thumb uh, the, the top of my thumb a Mestastic node a, a, a microcontroller with a, a server on an ESP 32C6 uh, with a uh, API server on it with an endpoint that I could send messages um, using Meshtastic. And uh, wh what's nice about that is I could, um, you know, of course in this case I'm just using the endpoint but I could have a piece of software that calls that endpoint and say uh, send this message out for me or you could connect um, other sensors that Meshtastic maybe doesn't support, like this LUX sensor over here. Um, you could connect that up to the ESP32 and you could say, you know, if uh, uh, um, 
light sensor picks up at least a thousand lux, then send a message via Mestastic. So that opens up for you to connect other sensors, which Mestastic doesn't support by default. I know you can create them in, 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 in the core, but this is an easy way to add other sensors or an API server or whatever you want to do on a microcontroller. You can add that functionality there and then just use the Mestastic node to send that out via serial or RS-232. So hopefully that all made sense. That's a lot of stuff that happened there. But um, I'll, again, look at the graphic. And if you've got any questions, please ask. Um, I'll try my best to answer what I understand. Um, so thank you for watching this series. Um, it was pretty nice. And uh, let's uh, make some more interesting, uh, interesting things in the future. Thank you.